Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here and DLC 4 has just been announced for Call of Duty World War 2. Instead of doing this on a Tuesday, Sledgehammer decided to go with the trailer release on a Wednesday. Not really sure as to why though, but I mean, hey, I'll take it. The maps look really, really amazing, but I'm going to talk more about them in a second here. But something to keep in mind is Sledgehammer is going to be doing the weekly update today instead of Friday. So make sure you tune in, set a reminder for more than likely this afternoon definitely do feel there is a lot of stuff you do not want to miss out in this stream also what's pretty cool about this DLC the Shadow War is even if you do not have it then you can still play it even if one of your friends in the party owns the DLC then that's how you're gonna be able to play basically if one or more of your friends have it then you're gonna be able to gain access to the DLC playlist this is very very huge it's a very very huge thing guys and yeah I gotta tip my hat out to Sledgehammer this is a pretty amazing feature but now onto the maps we have have airship excavation and chancellery airship kind of seems to be like a little parking facility for a huge air balloon to me the map doesn't look that big either based off the gameplay we have seen but it's a snowy map which are my favorite type of maps to play on so really gonna love this map and now moving on to excavation it's set in a hot dry desert area and based off the trailer it looks like there's gonna be a lot of long lines of sight and a bunch of areas where you could possibly get shot from and yeah still I'm not really a big fan of how those maps kind of play out but I do love the way the map looks in general and now finally on to Chancellery this map is another nighttime map it's set in a high ranking government official office and it does look like a very very tight map but then again we only saw a few seconds of footage so not entirely sure how it's going to play out um, but yeah based off the footage there seems to be a lot of close quarters engagements and yeah nighttime maps are also one of my favorite time of maps to play on I just love the dark feel of it makes me really get into the game so uh, yeah that map looks really really awesome and now for the war map it's called Operation Arcane now this operation to me seems to be kind of basic not really too blown away with the first part because it seems like you're just doing the same old same old you know escorting the tank and then destroying some electronic intel station whatever but then later on I'm not sure what this does but one of the players is injecting himself with some type of green liquid I have no clue what this could do though like, if I had to guess, I'd say it definitely does add some type of power boost to the player for sure. I hope it's not, like, more health or anything, but there does appear to be, like, different injections you can do. And, yeah, it seems each one is going to give a player maybe a certain type of basic training perk. I don't know. Maybe the devs are going to clear that up later on in the update coming today. Also, we see the player is using some kind of a, a gun that looks like the Tesla gun. Definitely, it's a futuristic gun that shoots out, like, laser energy or something like that um, the colors are like a pea green color not like a bluish uh, purplish color like the Tesla gun I have no clue but whatever this is it does look really really sick and yeah these are the multiplayer maps for uh, the fourth DLC the shadow of war for Call of Duty World War 2 this DLC looks amazing and I love how even if you don't have the DLC then you can pretty much just party up with a friend and play with them I love that feature I hope more Call of Duty games uh, take note on that feature and possibly add it on later into their DLC life cycle and uh, yeah the DLC is going to be coming out on August the 28th which is uh, a week from today and yeah I'm very excited about this guys I cannot wait to play this last DLC um, but I don't think I'm going to be able to play like all that much especially come September when the blackout beta comes out because that's going to be my main focus um, but still the DLC maps look amazing and I think it's been a pretty decent year for World War 2 so far at the very beginning though I really wasn't a huge fan um but shortly after the DLC DLC 1 was rolling out and then a few updates were coming out um, World War 2 started to grow on me so that's just how I feel guys tell me your thoughts about this in the comment section down below and also tell me your thoughts about the DLC for the Shadow War in the comments and yeah thank you guys so much for watching I love y'all until next time I'll see you later